Hey, what's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again, as always. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. So, big topic in the news today, Kiki Palmer went to an Usher concert, did a little job rating, wearing a, I'll say, revealing, provocative, seductive outfit. And her boyfriend, baby daddy, whatever you want to call him, he had something to say. But then he faced a lot of back backlash, which in this day and age, Sadly, it happens when you try to uphold some sort of standards in your life. And there's a problem, but we're going to get into this story real quick. Because the question is, you know, was she disrespectful? Was it too much? Or, was it, or, was, or, or is he taking it out of hand, you know? So let's get into it. This is from USA Today. And it reads, Kiki Palmer's boyfriend doubles down amid backlash for criticizing her outfit, quote unquote, I have standards. It says Kiki Palmer's boyfriend, Darius Jackson, is feeling the wrath of social media after he called out the no actress for an outfit choice. Now, who is Darius Jackson? I mean, Darius Jackson, you know, you Google it, it says that he's a personal trainer. I guess he played football at Fresno State. Uh, his brother is an actor, which is how him and Kiki met started dating about what 2001 about two years ago so like i said he's a what like i said personal trainer fitness trainer so you know and he, he has a picture i think on his instagram page where like it's him and his brothers and his dad so we know that his dad is uh in his life now you really couldn't tell if his dad was black you know white you know mixed or what I, what have you but we do know that Somewhere, his mother and father. Somebody has to have, you know, black features and, and the other one probably has non-black features, but that's neither here nor there. Palmer, 29, attended Usher's Las Vegas residency on Wednesday, wearing a black bodysuit under a sheer dress. In a video circulating on social media, Usher has seen Serenade Palmer with his song, There Goes My Baby, as he sang. The duo hugged and swayed to the music. Palmer, a fellow singer, also had a brief turn at the mic and when you see it like I say she has like a kind of like a one piece bikini with like a sheer cover on it you know but her butt cheeks are showing and the quote here is that it's the outfit though you a mom Palmer's boyfriend and father of the son Leotis commented on Twitter in response to the to the clip social media was quick to drag Jackson in the replies now before we get to that, the question is, when he posted this, is this the first time he said anything about this outfit? So the next question is, do they live together? Now they live together and she walked, walked out the house with that outfit, I'm going to bet or assume if you will, he said something to her about that outfit before she left the house. That's if they live together. And then it goes to, she says she don't care, I'm just going to have fun, I'm just going to a concert with my girl, blah, blah, blah. He probably said something. Probably kind of quiet, didn't know how to react to it. And a lot of times that's the problem in relationships when I feel that women are, I don't want to say more in control, but maybe like, some of try you know, run things in a relationship. <clears throat> I don't know how old Darius is. I don't know how much money he makes. But I'm quite sure Sister Palmer makes a lot more money. Probably, you know, financially controls more things and you know, probably runs the house or tries to run the house or what have you. And he has his standards of being a man, being a husband, or what have you. Even if he pays all the bills, she might make more money. That's why it might still make her feel some type of, them both feel some type of way in that relationship. But I'm just speculating, so I don't know. But if he didn't say, but they don't live together, and he didn't see the outfit, and or, or, or and he didn't say anything about the outfit before she went to the concert, then 
I don't think the internet should have been the first place he said something. I think it should have, but, 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 I'm quite sure. Because here's the thing. I can't recall ever seeing Kiki Palmer in any kind of pictures or videos where she's dressing, you know, provocative, scaly class. She always seemed like she's somewhat conservative. I know sometimes people think she may have had some kind of mental breakdowns before, but it's neither here nor there. But she always, always seemed like a conservative type person who's tried to fit into the Hollywood stereotypes, but that's just not her personality. So that could be probably how they, you know, got together, you know, and became, you know, became a couple. So with this outfit, I can see why he would be, you know, feeling some type of way, maybe feeling, you no, know, feeling some type of way about it because that's out the norm. And now you're going out here, you know, you're going out with your girls and you showing your butt cheeks to the world. No man, <clears throat> no self-respecting man. I don't care if you make the money, don't make the money. Where are you from? Your religious background, your whether you know your your, your race, whatever. No self-respecting man wants his woman to show out her butt cheeks, or her breast, or whatever to the world. Period. You know. I don't, regardless, I don't care if you got a lot of money, I don't care what your, what your, what your, what your job is, your profession, you just don't want it unless, you know, sell your soul to that, to that industry. Like, you know, shout out to Jay-Z and Beyonce. But anyway, he says the alpha social media was quick to drag Jackson in the replies. Quote, don't date a baddie if you're going to be this insecure. One fan tweeted. That's funny to call her baddie because Kiki Palmer always had, to me, always had like a basic woman uh, body, which is nothing wrong with it. Because matter of fact, if, if you go and look at the majority of women who have been married, who are married, and you look at them, they look like women, but it's not outrageous. The majority, I'm just saying, like these women with these BBLs and these implants and these all these augmentations, most of them out here on Twitter, Instagram, ain't ain't got a man, ain't got a steady man, ain't married. But your women who have been married for years, look at your mama, if your mama was married, look at your grandmother, your aunties. Just, I mean, just, just being, just being honest. They can be pretty, they can be bad, but like I said, they ain't like this BBL outrageous thing, and they ain't putting it all out there to the world. So someone said you're gonna, you're gonna be that insecure. You don't have to be a bad for a man to be insecure. Matter of fact, quick story. I had a homeboy, I had a couple of homeboys. I remember we went to the club years ago. We all went to the, this club one night. Well, I went with them. They invited me, so I went to the club that one night. So me and one of my homeboys, you know, we was, you know, single walking through, doing whatever. But the other homeboy, you know, he was married and he was there with his girl. But while the fella trying to hang, everywhere she went, he went. And so we were like, man, that's kind of, we were looking at each other like, man, if you got to follow behind your woman like that, you don't need to be out here, you know, because how you going to have a good time? How can you have a good time, you know, hawking your girl like that? I had another homeboy back in the day, he used to tell me, you know, he'd go to the club with his wife, you know, his wife or his wife go with his, her girls, he go to his homeboys or whatever, and they go to their separate, you know, they go to the club, they go to their separate raids, kick it with their friends. He said, yeah, he said, no, he know my wife. He said, I know my wife is a looker. I know she look good. Uh, and it'd be dudes that be trying to holler. He said, "Now nah, I be watching." He said, "You know, she got like a time limit. Dude, go out there and talk to her. You know, he got so much time to walk away. If he over there too long, I'm going over there. That I can kind of understand. But again, like I said, being insecure, it's not really insecure. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't really that you don't trust her. It's that you don't trust the world." Which is understandable, but don't date a baddie if you're going to be this insecure, man. Whatever. Another wrote, not you jealous of your baby mother. You right, she's a mom, not a wife. In quotes. Which brings us to another point. Does she have to be a wife to act right to respect his wishes? First, that that doesn't make sense. That's kind of. Ass backwards. That's putting, let's say, the cart before the horse. 
depending on the man you're dealing with. And I ain't talking about dealing with the, you know, the, the Pookie and the Ray Rays, you know, the guys who can't get a job, who got a hundred side hustles because they can't work because he got 15 fellas. Or dudes that just ain't really trying to do nothing regardless, just want to be lazy and sit around the house and play video games all day and smoke weed all day. I'm not talking about them guys. We're talking about a dude who try to be upstanding individual, pays taxes, you know, uh, productive member of society. If you're trying to impress that kind of guy, the key is impress. Cause, but you know what? That statement there really shows a lot of women's mentality because like I said about the Pookie and Ray Ray's, a lot of time a woman will get a guy just cause he look good, you know, tall, dark, and handsome, whatever, athletic, bodybuilder, or whatever. She will say, oh, he may be in trouble with the law. Maybe it's con, maybe in prison, he's got a prison, but I think I can change him. I'm gonna change him, you know, I'm gonna get him, I'm groom and change him to the man that I want him to be. And that's what a lot of women think. And that's a no-no that doesn't work in real life. So when a woman says she's a mom, not a wife, they believe that they can have these three or four tendencies. You get out here and twerk on top of slave quarters or twerk on the poster of a guy who used to just know a woman beat him, who got deleted by a 14-year-old because he was attacking his mom. They are, 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 are go to the, or the BET Awards and be barefoot, pregnant, short, short skirt, dancing and twerking, you know, or twerking on top of Burger King, or was it Popeye's Chicken on Juneteenth, or Luke McDonald's on Juneteenth, what, you know. They, these are the type of women who say, they, you know, you can't, they, 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 they want, they feel that they can do that and then once you put the ring on their finger, it's gonna be like a Cinderella moment and these magical stars and stuff will appear in this, and they'll change into a respectable woman. When they know damn well, that's not, that's not gonna happen. It never has. So a guy is gonna be like, he's gonna meet a woman, he's gonna, she, he's gonna see how she is, he's gonna like her personality, like the way she look, the way she carry herself. And that's gonna be what takes for him to turn her into a wife. Now, play the devil's advocate. They have been dating for two years. They do have a child together. Bro, if you're gonna make it your wife, you need to go and do so. If you ain't ready, or she wasn't ready, that baby should have waited. I mean, that's just for the six-year-old man, you know, just talking about life experiences, teaching life experiences to a youngster, that's all. But no, ladies, you can't do all this gyrating and all this other kind of stuff and then think that a dude is going to be attracted to that. That's, that's only a sexual attraction. And then afterwards, you'll change your personality and everything and get them to make, no, 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 no. Because that stuff there, that wanes, man, that, 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 after a while, you can do all that, and you doing it, and he's gonna, you know, like it and gonna lust after and try to go get it. But then after a while, it's a good, good possibility he just may, you know, get bored of it, get tired of it, and wanna move on somewhere sexually. Don't mean that he still, I mean, you know, depends on your personality. I don't like your personality, I don't like being around the third, but other than that, nah, like I said, you working backwards. So Jackson double down later tweeting, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother of his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and he gets told how much he's a hater, how much of a hater he is. Well, y'all can tell he's probably has some humble background. One, he didn't use any profanity, he used the word booty cheeks, but he said wife and mother. But again, bro, you, like I said, if you thought she was gonna be a wife, you need to, now if y'all engaged still, that baby could've waited, but I haven't heard, haven't heard anything about an engagement, no private wedding ceremonies or nothing. So, you know, can't really use a wife in your statements. But again, I can say if that's your woman, period, you can shoot. People say, oh, if he ain't married, then he don't own it, man, whatever. If y'all are dating and y'all are like only doing dating each other, then y'all should understand what each other like and go with that. 
and, and try and respect it as much as possible. If you can't, you know, deal. Quote, this is my family and my representation, he continued. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. I back 100%, because like I said, dude, don't want a woman out there, especially with butt cheeks. Uh, kind of the dancing and the singing, you can't really, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, kind of feel some type of way a little bit, but not really because she's an entertainer and she's on stage and she's dancing. You know, she's she plays for the camera. She's used to that. That's, that's what she does. You know, that's what, she, that's what her livelihood is. But I will say this. Man, fellas, you need to keep your woman away from Usher because that dude there, man, this cat here is out here breaking up these happy homes it's for the long I mean, hell, he even, you remember, what's his name, Tatiana Taylor? That's her name, with, uh, married to Amon Shumpert. You know, Chris Brown crew beat him up because of, of her. That wasn't even Chris Brown woman. Like, good Lord, Usher, you know, Usher got dudes fighting over him, over a woman that ain't his. Uh, and now you got here with Kiki Palmer, and now you got the internet and the uproar, and, and, and her man is feeling some type of way about it. Shoot, hell, we can even go back to the boondocks. When Usher, you know, had Tom jealous of, because uh, of, because of, uh, what's his wife's name? Sarah. He wanted to go see Usher, but it actually was his daughter. But he thought his wife was like, you know, fanning over Usher. Man, he felt the type of way to where he went, to, went and hired a pimp named Slickback. Slickback. So, shoot, Usher doing in real life and been doing in real life and, uh, and in cartoons, man. Y'all need to keep y'all going away from Usher. Because, shoot, that dude, that boy, that's dangerous. There's something about him, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Let's say in response. Let's see. In response, one, one, one fan of Palmer tweeted, so she's a new mom. And she looks so great and is having a great time and not even doing too much. Instead of being dope and gassy, new mama having fun, you choose to try and check her with a gossip blog quote in front of the world. Why did you feel compelled to do such a thing? The fan added. Again, if he said it, if he said something to her at home. I can understand it. Matter of fact, if she would have posted the video, and you know, if she would have posted the video, then yeah, I could see him going on there and saying something to the world too. But this was posted by somebody else, and then later on, you know, she posted pictures of, of her outfit that she had on. She hasn't commented yet after this video, so she's I'm sure she's probably. They're probably talking about it, but the man's like, look, this is what I this is what I believe. You either like it or you don't. You either like it. See, Palmer has yet to publicly address Jackson's comment. She did have a poster outfit on Instagram Wednesday evening. I wish I had taken more pics, but we were running late. Uh the caption, uh, she captured her post. Uh, what else? Palmer had it. I'm telling y'all, she's talking about go see the Usher show, which is probably he had a great show, like I said, taking all these women. Usher comment, the big boss, thank you for coming. Palmer Jackson announced the birth of the baby boy Leotis on Instagram in February. Talk about how they share clips uh, and this, that, and the third. Okay. So, we'll end it like this. To all you women who don't understand a man's point of view, uh, like I say, self respected upstanding man that you want to spend the rest of your life with, with very little drama. But a lot of y'all like drama, so that could be the problem. Here's my question. How many of y'all have parents that have been married at least 25, let's say 50 years? If you don't, eh, then you really don't understand this. But, or oh, just all oh, been married to their husband for, the, you know, for 25, 50 years. Don't necessarily have to be your father, but married to a man for, you know, about 50 years. Tell me your time. We have seen your mother walking around, let's see, grocery store, going anywhere. Now, we're not talking about the beach. I can understand that, you know, going to hell, swims, wearing swimsuits, which we a lot of time to hell. Wear uh, one piece and have some cover, you know, the, the, the bottom part. Yeah, you know, wearing a hat and looking, you know, conservative, or looking comfortable at the same time. The women, people do know how to do that, you know. Have you ever seen your mom out there dressed like this, looking looking like this? Now, women may not 
care. Boys, I mean, shoot, you look at, uh, what's that, Keisha Cole song? She saw that video of Keisha Cole in the game, like in the bathtub, and he felt some type of way about that. Yeah, the boys feel a, feel a lot different about their moms than women would, for the most part. But it's like, y'all don't care something. Y'all don't care. Y'all want them to love y'all and cherish y'all and defend y'all, but when he says how he feels, you be like, ah, oh, don't worry about that. You know, what what, what keeps closer? That's my job. Mama just working. Mama just working. Yeah, I could. Yeah, exactly. Um, but how many of y'all have seen y'all mom do like that? You know what I'm saying? Act like that. If you ain't seen it, if you don't know about that life, then you don't, you don't understand that life. So you really can't comment on that. This brother seemed like a down-to-earth brother who has value, albeit not perfect. Again, talk, talk to a dude that's, you know, that lived his life with you no know, experience. Albeit not perfect, because he hasn't married this woman yet for whatever reason, but he says he still has some standards that he wants. And one is not having his woman out there scantily clad in front of nobody. Whether it be Usher or whether it be your baggage clerk at Walmart, if they still have baggage clerks. Or whether it be school teacher when you're going to go pick up your little when you go pick up your little boy from school and you're wearing uh, bonnets and pajama pants and flip flops and the halter top. Nah, brother don't want that. But anyway, tell me what you think about this story. Leave your comments below and then share it with the world. With that being said, leave me in peace. Now, I'll see you on the other side.